So um, with my Giacometti sculpture here, I've got the first coat on here. And remember with the first coat, I try to make it a little thicker so it would stick a little bit. So I wanted a kind of like a thick milkshake on here and I painted it on and I tried to get some on the head and on the feet, my extra on the head and feet um, and build that up. But most of this is paper. And so I'll put a few more coats on that on there. It'll be fine. And then I have to really build up the feet. Um, and um, I want to make another coat. So I've got my um, thin set mortar right here and I've got kind of a full cup of it. I usually like a little bit less of this, like a third to a half, but this one I got a little bit more than a half, so it might take a little bit more water, but remember I want to make it thin. And before I really stressed how little water you need to make this. Most students put too much water in it. And so I'm really trying to stress that. And so, kept on saying, put a tiny amount of water. And um, hopefully you got the picture because it's important that you put just a little bit of water in there. Mix it up good. And I need a little bit more water. You could just mix it up with your brush. I guess you could mix it up with something else if you would rather do that. If you have a really good brush and you don't want to kind of push the bristles down, you can mix it up with whatever you need to mix it up with. So I've got it pretty thick right now. It's kind of like a thick milkshake. And I want to get it a little thinner. And like I said, it may probably made a little bit too much of this. I don't know that I can use all this. So I'm going to try to get a little bit more water in there and mix it up. And then when you're done with these little cups, um, just wash them out and you can use them next time. So don't throw them away. If you have a lot of concrete left, or not concrete, I guess it's cement. If you have a lot of cement left, um, my suggestion is you know, try to build up the areas that you know you need a lot on, like the feet and the head. Um, and then if you have to throw it away, um, dump it in the trash first, scoop it into the trash and as much as you can. Then, um, then wash it out in the sink. You don't want to wash all this down the drain. So that's probably true of any kind of paper mache or cement or plaster, you know, scoop it out in the trash first. And then if um, you need to clean it, it's fine to clean it in the sink, but you don't want to put a ton of it down the sink. So I'm still a little bit thick because I got a little bit too much um, thin set cement in here. Um, so I've added a little more water than I usually do, but I did it a little at a time so that I, I made sure that I didn't add too much. Again, like a lot of students do that, so I really try to guard against that. And then they have to add more um, thin set, and then they end up having way, way too much for the day. And that's what usually happens. But um, I think I'm okay. So I've got my um, thin set, and it's pretty thin milkshake, thin milkshake, and I can just start painting it on here. And the good thing about this is it's pretty, pretty soothing just painting this on. It doesn't take a lot of thought. You're just kind of putting it on and you want to make it thin enough so it coats nicely. If you want your surface to be more rough, um, make the um, thin set a little thicker and it'll make it more rough. If you want it to be more smooth, then thin like this is better. This kind of just gels together, and when it's thick, it kind of it gets clumpy, you know. Don't worry if you get some on the base. If you decide that you don't want it on the base, 
you could just scrape it off later when it dries or scrape as much as you want, you know, can now. And then as it dries, it's easy to scrape off too. And we'll take this, let this dry a day, 24 hours, and we will be able to put another coat on. And so remember, we put several coats on Usually four is a good number, four coats, but um, depends sometimes. Sometimes you need a little bit more. Sometimes four is plenty. So I'm gonna continue to paint this on, trying to get it in all the little crevices and cracks. We want to fill the wires. So if you have a couple wires that have a gap in them, you need to really fill this. I noticed yesterday when some people were doing theirs that they did have more gaps in their wires than I have in mine. And they said, Mr. M, they look pretty easy when you're doing it, um, but I'm having a harder time with it. And my response was that I've done it several times. So you get a little bit better at it if you do it a couple times. It's, but it's really important that you don't have any holes or gaps. So if you see some of those, fill them with the thin set cement. And you may have to do that a couple times because it's thin. And um, over the, the four coats, you should be able to do it with no problem. It can be a little bit messy because you're dripping a little bit. So if you want to put like a piece of paper underneath, it doesn't hurt. Okay, so I think that's it for today. Oops. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna do the last part of our Giacometti sculpture, and that will be just to paint it. But before I paint it, I wanna do a little bit of cleanup because I've got a little bit of the cement on the board here, and um, I need to uh, make sure that I clean that up. And so what I wanna do is I'm just gonna take a knife and I'm gonna scrape it off. And that's all I have to do is I just have to scrape it right off of there and I can kind of clean it up that way. You don't have to use a knife, you can use other tools, I guess, but I think a knife works probably the best. And just come around the edges and scrape it. And you can decide where you wanna start around the foot. Um, you wanna get really close to the edges you can. You want to make it blend out a little bit so that it is um, so that that um, it's a little bit away from the um, foot. You can do that also. So I'm just gonna come a little bit closer to the foot, clean this up. Okay, and I come over here and. 
just trying to create like an edge of the foot. So now what I want to do is I want to clean up all this dust and stuff and then I want to get a scrap piece of paper and put it down so that I can paint on that piece of paper and I don't have to clean up the table. So let me do that really quickly. Okay, so I'm just going to sweep this into the trash really quickly, clean this off a little bit. Okay, and I've got my piece of paper here. I want to put my Giacometti sculpture right on the piece of paper and start painting. So um, I want you to paint it in one color, only one color. And so I just chose black and um, I just paint it on. That's all I have to do. I usually like to start at the top and work my way down. I don't know that it matters any, but I can grab the bottom of it and it's just a little bit easier to move around. If I do it this way, um, you could start any place you want, but I like to start at the top and work down. And I'm gonna make sure that I get the paint and all the little holes and pores. I don't wanna have like a lot of little places where I missed. So make sure that you paint it in there. This paint is rather thick and it'll put a nice coat on there. If your paint is thin, put more than one coat. This one will be fine with one coat, but if you have a situation where yours is really thin, your paint, then uh, just paint a couple coats. I know you're just painting the whole sculpture here, but try to focus on craftsmanship. You know, you notice that I'm trying to take the brush strokes and take them the same direction just to clean it up and make it a little bit nicer. Okay, so after you get this done, you've got the whole thing coated um, and you're sure that all the little nooks and crannies are done, then you need to let it dry. Um, Look it over really well because I can see right here I have some spots I missed. So look over all edges and make sure you got everything covered. And remember if you have, um, if your paint is really thin, you may have to put two coats on and that's perfectly fine. This paint is pretty thick. If I get all the edges, it will be fine. Now, after this dries, if you want to add a little bit of color, just to add some flair to this, you can add that on top of this. So if you want to add just a little statement to give it a little bit of interest, you could do that. You know, maybe you could make the hands red or you could, you know, so I've had people like paint clothes on him and that would be fine to do that. So if you want to do that, you can, or you can just leave it as is and just keep it all you know, monochromatic. But if you want to add some interest to it by adding some other things to it, I think that's fine. Just to make it a little bit more personal and, you know, a little bit more your style, that's okay. Just make sure it's painted all really well and all the edges and nooks and crannies are painted in fine. And this will seal up that cement. It'll seal all the pores of the cement. And because this is acrylic paint, if we got it a little bit wet, I wouldn't put it in water. It, you know, it's not gonna come off or anything. Not that the cement would, but the cement is porous and this paint is not. 
meaning that it would soak up some water. The cement would soak up some water, but this paint will not, it seals it up. Okay, and so the last thing that you need to do is make sure that your name is on the bottom of this. Name and hour is a good idea. And then when it dries, you can peel this paper off and throw that away. And look, you don't have any mess on the table to clean up. Well, looks like I have a little mess I made, so I gotta clean that up. Make sure that you clean up your brush because this is acrylic paint and it will ruin your brush. So as it dries in here, you cannot wash it out. It's, it's done, you have to throw away the brush. So on acrylic paint, make sure that you clean your brush really well. Um, if you had tempera paint, you could wash it out later, but um, it's better just to wash this out now and get this cleaned up. Clean up your mess and you're good to go. Okay, that's it for today. Yeah.